December. It's time for gear of the year. This is that video. Ginger Runner. What is up, everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here for our annual tradition, what we've been doing here at the end of every single year for the last few years, our gear of the year, where I get to look back over the last 365 days at all the different gear that I reviewed and tested and put through the Ginger Runner gauntlet and decide which reigns supreme as the gear of the year. I am so lucky that for the last 10 years of doing Ginger Runner that I've got to test so much gear, uh, shoes, apparel, storage, everything. And today I get to highlight what I've loved in the last year. We actually narrow it down to 10 categories this year. We've added an additional bonus category. We're talking about best apparel, best work from home gear, best storage item, best gadget, best nutrition, best drop bag necessity, best road shoes, best plated shoes, the new category this year, best trail shoes, and finally to wrap it up, best bonus budget. Before we dive into the gear of the year, of course, a couple of things that I have to point out. First, it's Ginger Miss season. You can go to gingermiss.com to sign up for our free running scavenger hunt where we get to give back a bunch to the community who have supported us throughout the year. Second, I have to point out that all of the gear that is mentioned in today's gear of the year was provided by either Running Warehouse or the manufacturers themselves. I'm under no obligation to include these items on this list. I'm not financially compensated by anybody for putting any of these items on this list. All of the opinions are my own. I make this list, it's my opinion and my determination alone. So if I miss something on this list, or if there's something that you're like, hey, how did you not include this on your gear of the year? Uh, that is what the comments on this video are for. Let's get the dialogue going. Let me know what items I might have missed. Uh, that way we can always come back to the comments and see like, oh, there's these other items that people really liked from 2021. Let's check those out. And finally, if there's something on this list that tickles your fancy or intrigue, I do have links in the description of this video to each and every item that I mentioned on this list. They are affiliate links. You are not obligated to use them. They just help the channel out and they cost you nothing. Uh, I will say on top of that, if there is something that you like, maybe consider going to your mom and pop shop or your local running store or running specialty store and seeing if they have it in stock first. Uh, support the small businesses with your business. Without further ado, may I present to you the 2021 Gear of the Year. Starting with the best running apparel of 2021. So I like to mention two items in each of these categories, a runner up and then the overall champion. Today's runner up for best running apparel comes to us from a brand that we've uh, really loved from Rabbit. It's the Shredder Shorts. I'm using the super bright version of the shorts just so you can see them. I think these are the Hayden Hawks version actually. But the Shredder Shorts have been one of my absolute go-to grabs. I did include them on my summer shorts showdown list earlier this year. Uh, they've just sort of moved themselves up the list and I use them regularly. They're very light, very stretchy, tons of storage. Uh, I've absolutely loved this pair of running shorts from Rabbit, uh, the Shredders. Mm-hmm. I like them. And the best piece of running apparel for 2021 is an item that I have not mentioned on this channel yet, but have been using for the last couple of months. Uh, I really, really love it. I think it's been just my new favorite thing. It comes to us from Janji. It is their thermal Zephyr jacket. It's a fitted thermal piece of outdoor kit that uh, has a little bit of water resiliency, but mostly keeps your core area warm. Works great for fall, winter, and spring running. So those three seasons are pretty much covered by this one piece of apparel. I've been wearing it a ton in all sorts of conditions. I will continue to wear it through the winter and spring. So Janji uh, has just been knocking it out of the park recently, the last couple of years. Their gear is just it's great. It's designed well, it looks good. The thermal Zephyr jacket is no different. Well done, Janji, love it. The next category was new for 2020, but I carried it over to 2021 because let's be honest, we're all still working from home. This is the best work from home gear. Starting with our runner up, again, from Rabbit, it is their Easy Joggers and Hoodie. Right here are the joggers, but their Easy Fabric, we've used it in t-shirts and things like that for our events that we host. They're starting to use that fabric for jogging and hoodies and other types of apparel items. And man, it is so comfortable. I cannot say enough good things about this fabric. So the Easy Joggers, which is what I'm holding here, and the Easy Hoodie, which I do not have and I'm going to get because I just absolutely love this stuff. It's so good for work from home. It's very casual, very comfortable. It's lighter weight too, so it's not gonna totally heat you up in the summer months. It's kind of good all season. <sighs> Just really, really like it. Leading me right into my favorite work from home piece of gear for the last year. It comes to us from Lululemon. It is the At Ease Hoodie. It's an appropriate name for this particular category. I think it's extremely comfortable. It's nice and insulated and cozy but I also think the fit is very modern and, and feels good. I think the look is really cool, clean. 
Uh, I'm just a big fan of this hoodie. They also make pants as well. Uh, I do not own those, but I do own the hoodie and I like it a lot. Lululemon, nice job. I like to work from home in you. Next. Moving on to the best storage items of 2021. Our runner up is actually an item that I've mentioned on this list for three years now. I just cannot say enough good things about this item. However, I'm moving it to the runner up because I just don't want it to win year after year after year. But it is an item that I do use day after day, week after week. From Solomon, it is the Advanced Skin 5 set. This is a pack that now for three years is the actual same pack that I have been using all the time. Uh, I do have newer packs that are in rotation, but there's just something about this old school Advanced Skin 5 set that works in every condition, whether it's a light 10 to 15 mile run where I only need a little bit of gear, or if it's a longer 20, 25, 30 mile longer effort. This pack just comes in handy. It stores what you need. So I will continue to keep the Solomon Advanced Skin 5 on this list because it continues to be the pack that I just find works the best with my body and what I need in running. So nice job, Solomon. You continue to make the list with the same damn pack and it just gets better and better. But in at number one for the best storage item of 2021 is something, again, haven't really mentioned it this year on the channel, but I have used it in many runs. You've probably seen it in a number of my videos this year where I'm out there running and it comes to us from Camelback, which was a surprise for me. It's their Ultra Belt. So last year was the first year that I mentioned a belt as a storage item that I liked. There just have been so few of them that have made my gear of the year or really intrigued me or worked with my body. Uh, the Ultra Belt from Camelback is one that works. Um, I like this storage pocket in the front. It's super big where you can hold your phone or gels or whatever you need up front, but then there's tons of pockets around the entire perimeter of the belt. And along the back, this is really where this belt worked for me over other belts. Uh, this year in particular, I had to carry poles, a saw, uh, all sorts of gear, a hydration bottle, stuff like that. And this belt was able to accommodate all of it and keep it against my body. And it didn't feel weird or awkward or bounce around. So congratulations, Camelback, on your Ultra Belt. It's a success. I dig it. Moving on to the best gadget of 2021. This is one of my favorite categories year after year, only because I'm a huge tech nerd. I love following trends. I love watches and apps and cameras and anything, you know, that you have to charge up. I tend to like to nerd out and talk about it. So today we have two items. Runner up is the Hyperice Hypervolt. I was initially really skeptical about these devices. We'll call them percussion devices. I think the brand and the model tend to be a bit irrelevant now. I think there's so many other brands creating these percussion instruments. You can find them all over the place on the web. Uh, so while I say Hyperice Hypervolt, that is just this particular model. I just think a percussion instrument is a really nice add to your kit. Now having this for the last year, we find ourselves using this quite regularly, you know, whether it's on like back issues or leg or quad issues, it's not an immediate fix where you're like, I've got muscle pain, you apply this to it and it's gone. But it is certainly one of those things when you are looking at recovery, getting some sort of percussive instrument, in my opinion, is a nice add. So yeah, my runner up is the Hyperize Hypervolt. Again, a lot of brands, a lot of models. Use the comments of this video to let us know which one you use. Uh, there's a lot more affordable options out there, but this is the one that I use. I love it. Uh, it's been a regular in my run recovery rotation. And my favorite gadget of 2021 is an item that I have been using in its various iterations for the 10 years that Ginger Renner has been around. From GoPro, it is the Hero 9 and Hero 10. This is the Hero 9. And the reason I wanna talk about these, one is because yeah, on this channel, I use these all the time for all my videos. Um, but the progress from the Hero 8 to the Hero 9 and then the Hero 9 to the Hero 10 are leaps and bounds. The big standout feature for me is the internal steady algorithms. It really takes choppy footage, running footage and steadies it out. Uh, just comparing footage that I shot this year on the Hero 9 or 10 and comparing it to years previous with Ginger Runner videos, you'll see night and day, it is like uh, carrying a gimbal in your pocket, but you don't actually need the gimbal anymore. And that to me is why these new cameras are taking that leap and making my gadget of the year. Because I'm only having to carry this. I'm not having to carry a gimbal and a GoPro, which was something I had to do for years. And it was just so tedious and cumbersome and annoying. I know DJI released their new action cam. I'm hopefully going to get my hands on it. Uh, plus the new Insta360 stuff. Yes, I'm aware of all these other camera brands. Uh, but for right now, GoPro Hero 9 and 10 are the ones that I'm using on a regular basis. I like you. You do good. 
The best nutrition of 2021. Yes, this is the stuff that you shove into your mouth and eat and swallow and hopefully fuels your run. I understand that this is gonna be completely subjective to you, the runner. So what might work for me might not work for you, but I do like to add this to the list each and every year because some nutrition companies and brands out there are innovating constantly and always come up with new products. This year, no different. Starting with our runner up, it's a company that I've mentioned many times on this channel, especially in the last couple of years. I believe they are now on their third year running as being a mention on the nutrition of the year. Spring Energy with their new flavor, Awesome Sauce. The reason I like this is because it is 180 calories per gel, which is nice because you can take one or two of these an hour and just take care of all of your nutritional needs. That and the fact that it tastes like cinnamony good applesauce, it is so easy to eat. It tastes delicious. It's not gonna ruin your appetite or your palate or anything like that. Uh, I just really like it. Major downside is the cost. I know Spring Energy gels are quite expensive. Awesome sauce is no exception. It's the flavor, man. It's the flavor, and when you're on those long runs and you just need something that you can stomach, this has been it for me. But in the top spot this year is a product that is new, and I got to test a lot during the summer months from Goo Energy. It is their Liquid Energy. Basically, it's their gels, but in more liquid form. The reason I'm including this in my top spot this year isn't necessarily for the calorie count or anything like that. It's because of how I was able to use this this year for fueling. So what's kind of cool is because it's so liquidy, you can toss it in the freezer and it essentially becomes a slushy. So on the hotter days, uh, which we reached quite often here in the Pacific Northwest with 118 degrees Fahrenheit recorded, which is ridiculous, I was able to keep these in the freezer. When I was preparing or going out for a run, I would toss them in my pack and then I'd have a nice ice cold slushy when I needed it. Uh, it's a cool sort of byproduct of this type of nutrition. It's how I used it the most, particularly in the cola flavor. This is strawberry banana. Uh, I just really liked it. It was just a cool way to take in my calories during the summer months when it got hot. I made note of it and I'm putting it on the list. Nom nom friends. Nom nom. Moving on to best drop bag necessities. These are items that you should absolutely include in your drop bags or your racing bag when you're out there uh, on the course or on a long training run. Just something that you can grab and you're probably gonna need. Starting with our runner up, third, fourth year in a row, it's stuff that I use all the time and I put in my drop bag all the time. Cannot leave home or start a race without it. From Squirrels Nut Butter, it is their anti-chafe balm. So keep those bits bitty uh, or not bit. You don't want it those bits getting bit. What I love about Squirrels is that it's all natural. It is created by runners for runners. It's a small company and they just deliver on great product and customer service. Uh, so Squirrels has been a go-to for mine for years. Using the stick has been the easiest and least cumbersome option. You just throw this into a drop bag. You can apply it whenever you need to apply it to wherever you need to apply it from bits to beyond. Uh, just use it. It's great. It keeps things slidey. We all need that. And my top pick for an item that you need to keep in your drop bag, uh, these work really well for me. These may not work for everybody, but it's a natural solution for a very common problem, particularly in ultras or long distance events. From Ginger People, the Gin Gins. Uh, so these are Ginger Chews. I like this particular brand because they last a long time. For me, why they work is the packaging themselves is waterproof so you can keep in your pack, you can sweat, you can dump water on yourself and they don't dissolve in your pack. Uh, but when you do need to use them, you can unwrap them, stick them between your gums and your cheek, and they just last. Uh, normally for me, one of these will last for two, four hours-ish, and then you can toss in another one. They're not necessarily high in calories, so I wouldn't necessarily consider these a caloric nutritional supplement. They work particularly well for me when I begin to feel nauseous or when my stomach is unsettled. Uh, I'll toss one of these in my mouth, suck on it for 20, 30, 40 minutes, and then things start to right themselves. That is just what I have found. Uh, that doesn't always work for everybody, but for me, these do not leave my drop bag. Now we're moving into the shoe categories, which I know many of you watch this video particularly for the shoe categories. And we're gonna start with my favorite road shoes of 2021. My runner up is a shoe that might be controversial for some of you, but for me, it is a shoe that I ran in, I loved and forgot about, started running in it again and realized this thing is freaking awesome. The runner up is from Nike. It's the Zoom X Invincible. This thing is super soft and squishy and bouncy, uh, but it's also more resilient than I ever could have imagined. I've been using this shoe all year. Uh, on and off. When I refound it in my closet, it reignited that love for the shoe. It's actually still held up quite well. You can see it's very dirty. Uh, but yeah, this shoe makes my runner up as one of my favorite road shoes, particularly road trainers. 
uh, for those long distance plods out there on the weekends. It just has done me quite well. Moving on to my favorite road shoe of 2021. I am curious if any of you can guess this before I reveal it, but it is a shoe that, I mean, surprised me because of how different it was from the previous version, but now reflecting, doesn't surprise me how good it was because the previous version made my best road shoes of 2020 and 2019. It comes to us from Hoka. It is the Rincon 3. The reason this shoe made my list is because I put it through as many tests as I could to really test the durability, test how well it and comfortable it is, how well it handled different terrain. It held up. It held up to pretty much everything I could throw at it, including my No 50K. Uh, this is the shoe that I wore for that the entire time. Didn't take it off, didn't swap it, and it held up great. So the Rincon 3 makes my road running shoe of the year. Uh, well done, Hoka. Keep delivering on this thing, because this is three years running. Will it make a fourth? We'll see. A new category for 2021 is one I'm kind of excited about. I debated doing this last year, but there are just so many more products this year that feature a plate that I had to design a category around best plated shoes of 2021. This could be a carbon plate, a nylon plate, or a rock plate. I'm gonna throw that in there as well, because uh, this might eventually incorporate trail shoes in the future. Um, it's not necessarily this year, but uh, I wanted to make their own category just for these shoes, because it's, it's hard to compare a plated shoe to a non-plated shoe and which one's gonna make the gear of the year. So, best plated shoe of 2021 runner up. I have not even mentioned this shoe on this channel before. Some of you might be familiar with the brand. They're a smaller brand but I'm pretty excited about what I've tested so far. You'll probably see a review of the shoe next year from a trade you running. It is the artist. So uh, there's a reason this is making my runner up and making this list at all, even without a review. And that is because in my initial testing of about 35 miles in the shoe, it's doing really, really well. It reminds me a lot of the Adidas Ada Zero Pro, but one thing that they have going for them that no other shoe brand has really been able to match is the price. These things are a hundred bucks for a carbon plated cushioned road trainer or racer, whatever you want it to be. The artist is a beautiful shoe from a trail you're running. So I'm going to continue to put this through my review cycle. I'll probably talk more about this in 2022. They have other shoes right now in my rotation, a hundred bucks for a carbon plated cushioned shoe, uh, a trail. You. you guys are crazy. Nice job. But coming in as my favorite plated shoe of 2021, I have not stopped singing this shoe's praises because it has been such a fun experience, such a great shoe for tempo workouts, speed workouts, long distance marathons, half marathons, whatever you want to do that involves needing a little bit of snap and cushion underfoot and feeling comfortable. This shoe has been it for me. I love it and I love the look of it too. From New Balance, it is the Fuel Cell RC Elite version two. Man, I cannot say enough good things about this shoe. Uh, this is also why I wanted to create this category separate from road shoes because it, yes, it does uh, compete against something like the Rincon as far as my choice is concerned and what I'm gonna run on a particular day. It just needed its own category and most of the plated shoes that I've been running in need their own category. So congratulations New Balance on taking the crown for the brand new plated shoe category win of 2021. This is my favorite. It's great. Whew. All right, here we are for best trail shoes of 2021. This is a category that many of you are very interested in. The runner up, is actually a tie. I could not decide, even standing here and looking at these two shoes, I'm like, just pick one. I can't because I find myself going to either one of them on any given day, even though I've had both of them pretty much the whole year. So I'm gonna start with the Hoka Zanal, followed by the Dinafit Ultra 100. These two shoes run similarly as far as feel underfoot. Uh, they're more responsive but overall they just serve different purposes for me. The Zanal sort of became my favorite trail workout shoe and the Ultra 100 sort of became my favorite middle distance trail shoe. Both of these shoes are fantastic. Uh, prices are obviously a little bit more up there, uh, but I think they're both holding up quite well. I think they both get the job done and I'm having fun equally in both of these shoes as our runner up. The Zanal and the Ultra 100. Nice job. Bringing me to my favorite trail shoe of 2021. I'm actually very excited about this one. 
because I found myself just grabbing it day after day after day, and it's held up surprisingly well, even well after my review. I now have hundreds and hundreds of miles. I've ordered more pairs. I have a waterproof version of this one arriving soon that I can't wait to put to the test here in this rainy, crazy Pacific Northwest weather that we've been having. The best trail shoe of 2021, in my opinion, comes to us from the North Face. It is the Vective Endurus. This is the same shoe that Dylan Bowman set the FKT around Mount Rainier back in uh, 2020. Uh, it has just become my favorite trail shoe because it's just been so versatile and adaptive to everything that I've thrown at it. Clearly very dirty. I've, I've just taken it through mud and snow and everything. But the Endurus is the particular Vective shoe from North Face that I found myself going to the most. Has a little bit more cushioning. The Pebax plate, uh, the upper is more forgiving. This shoe is awesome. They make a weatherproof future light version of it as well, which I'm excited to test and review. I have that one coming soon. Uh, but this shoe has been great. I cannot say enough positive things about it. Congratulations, North Face, on the entire Vective line. I think it's a really fun, innovative new shoe that many people can start running in and training in. I'm excited to see what you have in store around the corner. But this made my trail shoe of 2021. Well done. You smell like shit. Bringing us to our final award category of 2021, the best budget bonus item. These are items that I like to end these lists with because they are lower in price, things that I enjoy having, things I think you will enjoy having, and they won't break the bank, uh, which is always a good thing. So coming in as our runner-up bonus budget item is an air horn. I'm not kidding. It has been an extremely active bear season here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I don't carry bear bangers or bear spray. Uh, I like non-lethal, non-invasive sorts of mechanisms to deter bears from, you know, eating me. This tiny air horn is an awesome item to carry if you live in black bear territory. So this is going to be California, Oregon, Washington, and pretty much the entire West. This tiny little air horn packs an incredibly loud punch, about 60 to 65 blasts, if you were to count how many times you can honk this horn. I am not going to honk this on camera because I did it about 30 seconds before I started recording, and I still can't hear out of my left ear. I'll leave the sound this horn makes up to your imagination, but trust me, it is about a hundred times louder than I anticipated. <laughs> if you encounter a black bear on the trail and you need to make some noise, this horn does the job. It's super cheap. I don't trail run without one. I encourage you to get one or two. They're fun. And now my favorite budget bonus item of 2021, for about $20, you get one of these. This is the Corona Razor Tooth Saw 10 inch blade. Clearly this item and even the previous item might be more region specific, um, but if you're like us and you live in the Pacific Northwest or anywhere where you're running on trails with forests and trees that regularly see weather, storms or wind, you might encounter the occasional downed log, tree or branch. That is where this thing comes in handy. Uh, it is great for removing debris from trails to allow hiking and other foot traffic through. Since becoming a race director with Tiger Claw a few years ago, we regularly find ourselves out on the trails that we have for our race, needing to clear big logs and trees off the trail. Uh, I find this to be a great thing to just keep in your pack. While certainly not a replacement for a chainsaw or proper Sawyer education, I encourage you to look into that if you're gonna be removing trees from trails. I'm not telling you to go out into the woods and cut down trees with this thing. What I am saying is I use this primarily for removing debris that has already fallen due to storms and weather across trails. It does well with smaller branches and smaller things that you just can't lift off the trail. So people can use the trails without having to go off trail and create new unintended trails, which just, you know, is not good for anybody. This is the tool that I use for that. And it's, you know, super cheap. It's great budget item. So that, my friends, is it for the 2021 gear of the year. I am super curious. What did I miss. I know that there are a number of items that you probably were like, I can't believe you didn't mention this or this pair of shoes or this piece of apparel. Uh, what are your favorite items from 2021 that you find yourself using all the time in the comments of this video? Of course, let us know. Let's get the dialogue going. Let's get those uh, recommendations going as well. And finally, if there's anything in this video that I talked about that you like, or you want to find out more information, of course, I have those affiliate links in the description. They'll take you directly to the products. You can go check them out for yourself or head on over to your local mom and pop shop or local running retailer and see if they They've got them there. Support the small businesses with your business, of course. We appreciate you. We hope you're having a great holiday. Uh, happy Gingermas, everybody. Go sign up at gingermas.com. Thank you so much, everybody. Like, favorite, subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell to be notified anytime we upload a new video. Happy holidays to you and yours. Uh, social media links 
Consider joining the GR crew. If you're looking on how to support this channel, join the GR crew, patreon.com slash the ginger runner. It is the easiest thing to do. And there are some amazing perks, including our daily live streams, uh, all that good stuff. So that's it. Get out there, train hard, race harder, and party to the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.